Uh, one of television's most iconic detectives, and uh, this week Luther is about to hit the big screen for the very first time. Well, here's what happened when Alison caught up with the man himself, Idris Elba, where they discuss the movie, music, and what the super sleuth's iconic coat smells like. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh! Oh, that hits the spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, these are so good. Hi, babes, you okay? Yeah, I'm just in the hotel trying out loofahs. Well, I'm interviewing Idris Alba about loofahs, right? Oh, I'm interviewing Idris Alba about the film loofah. Oh, no. Oh, I think he's here. I've got to go. Love is like a sin, my love. International superstar. Who? Formidable presence. One of the most amazing actors ever. What's it like for you sitting here with me, babes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only no, joking. you're not. <laughs> I'm only joking. You're very good. I'm, it's good to see you. It's good it to see you. Nice to I know last time I gave you a t shirt, I know you wear it to bed every single night. So I've got this for you. Uh, I love AH, that's me, Alison Harrow. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> This is I've a, got my Tom, own look. This is, oh wow, look at that. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. You still got it? Mm -hmm. I love AH. I mm -hmm. <laughs> love that t shirt. Do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the best. But never mind. <laughs> it's so lovely to see you. The last time we talked, you were saying it was on your wish list to have Luther as a movie. Mm. And here we are. I know. How does it feel to, to actually have your movie made, done, dusted? It's been one of those things that. You know, we always imagined that could be the pinnacle of, of Luther, the show, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, what can we do? Sixth season. What if we just did a film? And now here we are. And, and I think it does two things. One is keep the fans happy. And two, open the door for new fans. I know this man. I can never buy to be done. You see me now. I am enjoying myself. The nightmare to come. Because I'm ready. This is the one character you always come back to. Mm. Why do you love blaming him so much? It, Luther's so complex, it's like getting some therapy. <laughs> it's what, like, for you? Yeah. <laughs> it's seriously? Like, yeah, seriously. It's like, you know, he's so pent up and he's got emotion and he'll just go to the lengths to get get something done and for me it's a bit of a release i'm gonna be honest i watched it yesterday and i had to pause have a cup of tea and a biscuit because it's a lot there's a moment well i'm not gonna spoil no it but spoilers. there's a moment there's a moment where i had to turn it off I'm not <laughs> even, i even phoned my producer i said I don't, I don't know if i'm gonna finish this half i don't know if i'm gonna finish this film do i have to watch the, the movie before i see you drink it's a lot it, it's a lot uh it's a it's a thriller, all right? Now, in the TV shows, people were like, oh, the guy that comes out underneath the bed scared me. And you wouldn't think something as simple as a guy underneath your bed would be so scary. Well, in the film, we've gone with that same sort of it's thing. It's kind of that, isn't Something it? really simple that makes you go, oh. Because that is who you are, isn't it? The man who knows all about people like me. What about the coat? Because that coat has been following Luther all the way through. Does it get a dry clean? No. <laughs> Never. That, what? In it's the got... film, do we get a dry clean? No, 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 no. you got years. First of all, there's probably a couple coats and some with more DNA and blood on it than the other. But we just, you know, dust it off and keep it moving. And how method are you? Is it, does it stink? That, that coat. <laughs> no, babe. My, co my Luther's coat does not stink. <laughs> what? It looks no. so old, that coat. It doesn't look he old. He needs a makeover. It doesn't he does. look old. It's just <laughs> lived That's in. That's his coat. Yeah. Oh, I've got you some flowers. There you go. Oh, Sorry, thanks. I, so I think they were here down. when you came in, but it's fine. I do. I do apologise. <laughs> it's good to recycle. It's good to recycle. Oh, right. The last guest flowers. Let's see what you've done. <laughs> When Idris isn't starring in blockbuster movies, you can find him behind the decks DJing all over the world. 
A bit like me, really. I love DJing. It's my sort of, like, back to square one. Do you know what I mean? I was a DJ first before an actor. And I remember standing at a christening going, oh, my God, I hope they like this record. And that feeling has never left me. I always get nervous when I DJ. What do you get nervous about? You get nervous about, you know, listen, it's, it's really difficult when you do the calculations to play one song that 5,000 people that's are going to like. Yeah, that's so true. And that, that's a skill set. DJ Big Driss. No, 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 just Idris just... Elba. <laughs> so you just... I, I, I got, just got rid of the though. Big Driss. <laughs> big Driss. <laughs> I, I, I liked it. Really? Well, Driss. The film is Chris. Oh, Idris Alba, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Good to, to see you. Again. Good to see you too. <laughs> Brilliant. Very good. Can you imagine if we did a Luther makeover, get Gok in, do a load of coats? I like the I idea. Know, I like the yeah. idea of that. <laughs> you're welcome anytime, Idris. <laughs>